Hello, hello. 8119 Denny Creek. Nice little quiet community. It's about 10 in the morning and nice and quiet. Another beautiful day in Las Vegas. Going to be a hundred and some change. Of course, it's the desert. Like the cultured stone. Paved pavers for the driveway. Pretty new. I like the style, modern contemporary, very nice. The price is awesome too. So it was a three car, although that one's probably just used for storage, not necessarily putting the car in there. And there would be where you actually put the vehicles. Nice door and entry, cultured stone. Okay. Love the railings and the stairs. I love the tile floor. So obviously there's a front door come in. There's the garage, half bath. All right, let's see out here. See, I told you, storage. That's exactly what people use them for. Are we 20 foot ceilings? I don't have the front door locked all the way, so it makes that noise until it does. <laughs> Sound bird. All right, so immediately you have a linen closet and a bed down here. Nice size too for first floor. Very nice. Oh, and its own bathroom. So it's like a mini master for the downstairs. That's nice. House guests, parents, whoever. You have a first floor bedroom with three quarters bath. Very good condition. Very, very good. Make sure we're good under here. Can't see that well, but yes, obviously. The house is really new. Shouldn't have any issues. So that's, that's a good size for first floor. With its own bathroom. All right. We'll get up to the stairs in a second. So more storage, which should go back. No, light in here. There we go. Goes back there a little bit. Not a big deal. Just storage. All right. I love the three sliding glass instead of two. And so right here, this carpet is actually infused in the flooring. It's just not a big mat laid down. So 
Let's make sure I'm right on that. Yep, it's in, actually infused in the floor. So you have carpet there with the couch and everything in the living room with tile all around. I like that they have plugins here. But I love the fireplace. That's wood. And obviously that's where they had the TV. It's nice. Nice and clean. I mean, the walls are basically all white, but hey, it looks nice and clean and open. If you ever want to paint it, at least you don't have to put primer down, right? <laughs> all right. So I guess space for a dining room off of here. That's cool. One inch granite. Beautiful layout. That's a huge island. What that seats five? Nice. In the Eden Island, basically. You don't even need the dining room other than for formal. Cooktop stove. Double oven. Yeah, look at that island. Nice and open down here. And then out here would be the two car. So they have a water softener, which you very much need for the hard water from Lake Mead. That is a killer reverse osmosis system. I mean, that's that. I mean, that will purify the heck out of your water. That's probably almost eighty-five gallon water heater. I mean, everything should be pretty new. I think the house was built in two thousand fifteen. So, anyways, it's a garage. Everything looks tipped out. Again, very beautiful home. Obviously completely updated because it's built in 2015. Love double ovens. Nice fridge. Nice little pantry. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I like it. We will get outside in a second. Sneak preview. All right. Thus is the downstairs. Heading up. Yeah, I love these stairs. Nice wide. I love the railings. I love contemporary modern. There's a zoom from above to below. All right, onward. So I take it the master is over there, which we'll get to in a second. First, a better look. Full bath. A 
Again, same countertops and cabinets as below. Very nice and clean. I mean, this one looks hardly used. Nice and deep, actually, too, if you want to take a bath. So again, there's the front when you come in, up the stairs, there's the master where we'll get to. <clears throat> Closet. Yes, sir. And this is a loft. Looks like they have it wired up for everything. The left is bedroom number um, two. First one is downstairs. This is actually a decent sized bedroom too. I like the shutters. So that's a good size. That's probably, hmm, 12 by 14 maybe, 12 by 15. I'd have to look at the MLS. <clears throat> Bedroom number tray, which is the same size as the other one. It just has more stuff in it. And they actually have a little mini walk-in. Wow. It's actually pretty good size. I mean, for a third bedroom. Shutters, but white instead of brown. Let's get to the master. Oh, first we'll get to the laundry which is on the same floor as most of the bedrooms, which makes sense. Then you're not hauling up and down for what? Same tile as the downstairs. No cabinets or anything, but shelving. There's the attic access. I'm gonna shut this off. Closing it down. All right, now to the master, the grand finale. That is definitely good size. Wow, that's really good size. And kind of a little sitting area over here as well. Definitely, yeah, you can see where they had the TV before. Must have a very young one. Wow, it's really good size. Who doesn't love a nice master, a nice big master? I know I do, right? <clears throat> love the wood shutters. Tray ceiling, it's nice. Wow, look at that master. Holy, that's huge. All right, first we'll get to the closet. Okay. So this is one of the closets. That is huge, that's depth. Toilet. And powder area or whatever. 
That's huge. This is a huge master <laughs> bathroom. This is one of the biggest ones I've seen. Nice deep tub. Kohler, top of the line. I don't see jacuzzi jets, but who cares? Nice for soaking, definitely. Same tile throughout. Here's another uh, walk-in. So I think it's like the same size as the other one, a his and a hers. But look at that. Is that not a nice view or what? Look how far back the bedroom is. <laughs> Shower, nice shower too, some depth in that. Very, very nice. Yeah, awesome. that backsplash too tile. Wow. Super big master bathroom. Super big. All right. We'll close it down and we'll head out to the backyard. Got the light back here. Yeah, look at the size of that. I definitely, definitely love the master bed and bath. I mean, I like the whole house in general. I love this design. And it's pretty new. So hard to go wrong. Let me get, where is the light for that? Is that it? There we go. All right. There we go. Down we go. So outside we go. Yeah, I love the, see how these open up. That connects on that one. Then that connects on that one. So you can actually just have it nice and open like that. When it's not 110. <laughs> like it's gonna be today. So it's a good, I like the landscaping. Covered porch. They have a light in there. Could easily put a ceiling fan. So, not the biggest backyard, but who cares? Lights in place at night to be lit up. Is that bamboo? I think that's, what is that, a table or something? Anyways. The run on the side. Nice and quiet, isn't it? Something to be said about that, especially in this town. So it opens up bigger over here. Looks like they have a little cabana set up for themselves. I mean, you could put a pool over here easily. Easily. I mean, I wouldn't make it Olympic size, but. Let's 
two ACs. Obviously, pretty new. Bryant, good ones. Obviously, they're the age of the house, which is, I think, 2015. No issues on anything major. No issues at all. By the way, this is turf. It's not real grass. So your maintenance is zero because all the plants have a drip system set up to all of them. You just set that in the garage, good to go. Locked up. One last panoramic view. That's all.